you feel good, you play good. And if you look good, you definitely feel good. The story behind our uniforms is really hearkening back to 1966 and our past, staying true to the soul of who we are, but also pushing our brand into the future. It's been about 17 years since we did a redesign last, and over that time, you know, our fans have constantly been asking to see new uniforms. And when you look at the way that the city has started to evolve, and then moving into the new Mercedes-Benz Stadium and what a modern marvel that is, we felt it was time to kind of update the look of the team and the brand and the uniforms to kind of with the progression of the city. We've definitely modernized the uniform. We've taken a lot of input from a lot of fans and a lot of players to modernize the uniform, bring it into what is 2020. Arthur's core values really talk about listening and responding, and this entire uniform design process is really a true embodiment of listening and responding to our fans. We took a lot of that input, we took the player input, and we created what you know Nike likes to call a closet, right? And in that closet has a lot of different uniform combinations, which can allow you to be pretty modern, be pretty traditional, but definitely be new. And I think we like the fact that our, our players asked for, our fans asked for, and they both got uh, black home uniforms. It never been done like that, all black. That's lovely. There's, there's just a feeling to it. Uh, I can't explain it when you look in your locker and that color. And Touchdown Atlanta. I think, especially with the, the black on black, that's, that's a look that the team and the players have been asking for for a long time because it makes them feel powerful. It makes them feel intimidating. And I think any time, I think Deion Sanders said it best that when you look good, you feel good, and you play good. I just, I, I talk to my homeboy all the time, and be like, man, ain't no, you know, we like going other places, but ain't nothing like coming back today. So one of the signatures on the uniform is the new ATL mark that's front and center on the chest. Whether you're new here or you're from here, that ATL is our badge of pride. The second graphic signature on the uniform is what we refer to as the stoop, and that's that line that goes down the side of the jersey and down the side of the pants. It's intentionally simple, but it comes directly from the feather on our Falcon logo. So the helmet, we looked at, I want to say, 16 or 17 different variations of the helmet, and when we went into it, we knew that the helmet was always kind of the exclamation point on the uniform. I likey likey. This, we picked a, a satin finish, which is not a matted finish, but not a glossy finish. The logo on the helmet is nearly 30% bigger. Additionally, we kind of took a little bit of the swagger and bling from Atlanta and infused that into the helmet decal and made sure that the silver and the red and the logo were all hit with like a metallic foiled finish. And then I think the thing that's going to pop and people are going to notice is you took the face mask and you went from black to chrome. I like this one, especially that. This face mask, the silver face mask. So one of the things as we went into the uniform design process is wanted to make sure that we kept everything very clean, simple, and intentional. And I think that really translates when you look at the, the away uniform and the white on white. It is very striking, very simple, very minimalistic design. I like this. So the gradient jersey, one of the things we wanted to do is do something that you haven't seen in the NFL before. We also wanted to do something that was going to uh, resonate with our younger demographic and the youth a little bit more. It's definitely going to be different, you know, from anything anybody's seen before. The gradient pattern is a visual representation of Rise Up and the city of Atlanta having risen from the ashes not once but twice. I think the fans should be excited about 2020 because it is a whole new look, a whole new brand identity, and it's a new day for the Atlanta Falcons. This will be a fun year, and as I say, the one thing the fans got to realize in Arthur's case, you look at his record, you look at what he's done since he's bought this franchise and what he's done from a winning perspective, a lot of good has happened. This kind of opens the books in a new chapter of what it is to be an Atlanta Falcons fan.